Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Many a True Nerd, and this is Why Not Wednesday with Iron Man, because movie tie-in games are always spectacular, so why not? Oh, here we are, this looks like the film, this looks like the film, so we've, we've just missed the bit where Tony Stark was, was captured by the terrorists. What is the measure of a man? Is it the fruit of his labours? Or the secrets of his heart? No, it's how well he can animate fire effects, and as a result, the people who made this game should be deeply ashamed. That, that metal cooled quickly. What happened to the escaping from inside the compound bit? Oh, hello! Flamethrower! Flamethrower! Why would you charge at the person with the flamethrower? Why are you charging at the per- This guy's literally gonna run into the flamethrower. Well, bloody done, sir. Yeah, I really hope you saw the film, by the way, because this game's not no bloody time to fill you in on what's happening. So this is Tony Stark, and Tony Stark sells weapons to fight terrorists until the day he discovered that the terrorists actually posed a real genuine threat, at which point he decided to stop selling weapons to fight terrorists, and instead what he was going to do was become a pacifist. And he was going to enforce pacifism violently with a weapon he just built. Because the plot doesn't actually make that much sense when you think about it. Oh, I can just punch as well. Yeah, why would I use a flamethrower? Yeah, you're going down. You're just going down to punching now. <laughs> oh, physics engine. Oh, this is magnificent physicsing. Oh, I can tell already this game's going to be special. Use melee attacks against well armored. Wait, punch well. All right. Fine. I guess we'll just punch that armored vehicle out then. The flamethrower was obviously going to do nothing. Oh, press and hold B to grapple vehicles. All right, well, let's just first deal with these guys. Yellow. Hello. Hello. Yep, you're all dead. Uh, grapple vehicles. Oh, 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 it's a quick time event. Oh, that's less. Oh, I failed it. Okay, that was better. That was so disappointing. Why would I do that when I can just punch? Okay, so you fall down and then you just reboot and you fu Oh wow, so I'm functionally immortal. Great. Oh, look at the flame effects if you sidestep. Oh, this game is special. This game is really damn special. Use missiles to destroy enemies at range. Oh wow, it's not, the lock-on system is just, if you're vaguely looking at someone, you've locked onto them. Amazing. Yeah, they just died. And then you just have to wait for your missile to come back. And he's died. Wow, this game's easy. Okay, good, good, good. Damn it, I didn't build these weapons for the bad guys. I built you didn't build these weapons at all. You're really clearly not Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, why on earth would I ever do the grapple and lift? I can literally destroy a tank in a punch. Oh, amazing. All right, good, 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 good. Yeah, this was just a small camp in the film. In this game, all of a sudden, this is a mid-sized town. Oh, they've decided they're going to charge me again. They've decided, yeah, despite the fact they've got guns and I'm primarily using a flamethrower, they've decided they're going to run into close range. Oi, who keeps shooting me? Stop it, you're dead. Tony Stark is definitely not just like, you know, breaking out anymore. He's just decided he's taking over this country. He just wants to rename it Starkland. Oi. Bad. Tank. That is so much more efficient than the grapple. The grapple leaves you so exposed. Just punch tanks. Oh, low resolution cutscene. That's really low res, actually. That must be our friend Raza. Raza's just basically, his plan seems to be that... Tony Stark has just beaten his way by punching several tanks to death, so Ross is going to show up in a tank. And that's going to work out. Oh, that's right. Go next to the fuel tank. Next to the fuel tank. Well done. Oi, come back. Oi. These terrorists have been given a significant, you know, upgrade in their, uh, in their armory since the film. In the film. In the film, these guys had some guns. Now they've just got an infinite source of tanks. Yeah, you go. Ensign, what's going on? They're coming. You have to leave now. No, that's ridiculous. I've literally just killed 60 of them. Why would I need to leave now? 
Oh no, Yinsen! The game's trying to play up that we're sad Yinsen's dead, but... If you've seen Iron Man, be honest, would you have even remembered Yinsen's name? Oh, sad, sad giant mecha robot. Up, up and away! How do you deal with him? I don't. I just feed him, clothe him, and bathe him. What the no, hell have they done to Gwyneth Paltrow? Oh god, the so hell is this? Would be me. Also, I'm not sure exactly who should be offended and to what degree, but I'm pretty sure they have decided that Gwyneth Paltrow's breasts were not sufficient, so they've given her an upgrade in this game. Uh, oh well. I feel really sorry for Gwyneth Paltrow and Robert Jowney Jr. That they had no say in this. Okay, alright, we got flight. We're gonna get flight here. Hold RT halfway to hover. Okay. Yep, so you just hold down it a bit. And then you gain altitude by full in. How high can I go here? How high can I go? And what city, wait, what city was Iron Man supposed to be set in? I'm trying to remember what city Iron Man was supposed to be. Also, where on earth did I do this work? This definitely isn't my house, because my house is like by the beach in the film. Oh. I think I'm, I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm maxed out on, on flight there. And then we've got flight, fly for five seconds. Oh, this is, oh, this is a weird flight system. Oh, this is somehow appropriate to the fact that, what? The left analog stick is suddenly all the, oh. Whoa, this is weird. No, this is, ow. No, this is not, this is not a good flight system. Oh, what the? Oh, you just, you just fly into the ground and it's fine. Okay, excellent. Yeah, you can just fly into the ground and the game's... Oh, wow. Yeah, the game. The game's pretty cool with you just flying... Oh, head... head. Oh, this... Oh, this is magnificent. Tony Stark obviously feels like there's crime that needs to be fought. There's, there's no crime. There's no crime because there's no criminals and also no victims and also no population. I feel like this might just be Tony Stark's private city. You know what's also really weird? This is obviously the game of the film, but... It's not, it's not the film's music. Oh! Wow, the suit is damn good. It really isn't. Even with the afterburners, it's not that fast. Oh, it's so twitchy as well. It feels really light. A lot of people depend on their jobs here. You sure you want to shut everything down? Hey, don't put that kind of responsibility on my shoulders, right? Wow. Don't put that sort of responsibility on me. It's not like I own this company or anything. Oh god, why would you put flight on left button, not left trigger, left button? You try holding. Get an Xbox controller. If you've got an Xbox controller, try just picking it up and holding the left button for a bit. It's a flipping nightmare. Alright, Tony. It's time to do what we know needs to be done. It's time to go and solve crime. Okay, and dramatic entrance. Oh... Citizens! Anyone need help? Help with crime? Crime or... Or anything? Okay, we're gonna try this again when it's not Sunday. Not Sunday! Hold A to dodge in the direction you're moving. Is that what, what I'm doing? I feel like I just dodged that missile. I feel like that incoming missile was dodged. I feel like it hasn't hit me. How have I officially not dodged it? Uh oh. I'm kind of... I'm stuck in a wind turbine. Oh, there we go. Alright, we got away from renewable power. Tony Stark's got no time for renewable energy. Am I supposed to be hovering? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Is that the problem? Do you not want me to be flying? Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, try it again. Fire at me again. Oh. Yes! Okay. It didn't specify I wasn't supposed to be hovering. Okay, press... Press B when a missile is there to catch and redirect it. Press B, catch a missile. Oh, okay. Press B when a missile is near. Okay. Oh, caught the missile. Yeah, now that. Tony! What? Men with guns outside. So as far as I can tell, Magia used to buy weapons from us, and we stopped selling weapons, so they've decided to respond by launching a full-scale military invasion of this city. I mean, bloody hell, but a shop I used to use once stopped selling a deodorant I really liked, but I didn't decide to declare total war on them. That's a missile, soldier. Hello. I'm Iron Man. You interested in shooting me? No. All right, then. Oh, 
Your own friend shot you, that's fine. Bloody hell, these infinite choppers have just been sent. Tony, you have way bigger problems than terrorists. Like, your own competitors are just showing up and launching a full-scale invasion, not as of your injury, of the entire flipping city. Star gunship launch detected near Hangar 3, sir. Oi, 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 gunship, no. Okay, go, go, back off, back off, get some space, get some space. Observation. If the Stark gunship can clearly go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Iron Man and actually seems to be able to take a lot more damage and throw out a lot more damage, why did Tony Stark ever start refining all the Mark III armour? Why did he just go around in the Stark gunship, just blowing people up with the Stark gunship? It's clearly a lot tougher than me. He can take loads of missiles straight to the face. He can take sustained firepower. It's much faster than me. I, I honestly don't know why Tony doesn't just go around in the world in that helicopter. I'm just going to stay above the helicopter. This seems to be working absolutely fine. Okay, I'm just going to stay on the ground and blast it with my mega cannon. This seems to be working great. You're taking things on in the combat style the game seems to imply you ought to do. It doesn't generally work very well. It tends to be pretty ineffective, actually. It's much easier just to kind of vaguely kind of glitch the game. Oh, there's a car! That's the first car I found. Can I pick it up? How big is this car? Tony Stark in full armour is less bloody hell. That's a big car. Also, that car took more punches to destroy than the flipping tanks did. Civilian casualties reported. Damn. I don't know why he keeps going back into low rest mode when it does the cutscenes. Why don't you just do the cutscenes with the game engine? It's high resolution. Pepper, you okay? Pepper? Pepper! So Jarvis reports there are heavy civilian casualties. Iron Man's response, well, better go check on my not-yet-girlfriend. Not to worry about those damn civilians. I don't have a choice. Whoa. Make sure Obi does what I told him. He'll There's something wrong with her eyes and her mouth. Well, it doesn't... I, I and the lip syncing is dreadful. What trip? I mean, this is certainly one kind of slightly baffling way of, of padding out the film. Obviously, Tony Stark did indeed... Uh, but the film, Tony Stark's first flight was he just went for a little joyride around the city, flew around for a bit, came back and then destroyed a piano. Um, and in this case, yes, instead there was a full military invasion by one of his former clients of the city he lives in. That's interesting. We're now in the red and gold, that's good. Now the question is, what is, what is all of this stuff? I'm not going into flight mode. Flight mode's too ridiculously uncontrollable. I'm just going in this mode instead. The game really wants me to like, you know, fly around and be awesome and stuff, but it's so much easier to just be in hover mode. Hover mode is way easier. I'm just, in hover mode, I can basically, I can out tank pretty much anything they throw at me. There's not really much more I they can do. Yeah, let's do this on the ground. It's probably even easier on the ground. The ground movement, oh, I hated the ground movement when I first used it, but now I've tried flying in this game. I flipping love the ground movement. Oh, that's nice. If you're on the ground, you can just do a little bit of, oh, just a little bit of, I'm fabulous jump. Yeah, I'm just going to walk, I'm just going to waddle in on foot, holding down fire. I'm going to see how well I do. This is on the normal difficulty. I'm not on easy or anything. This is just normal difficulty. Yeah, walk in. Yeah, tanks going down. Not even using my missiles. Using no extra weapons at all. Weapons cache destroyed. Weapons cache destroyed. Worked incredibly well. Yeah, the animation doesn't like it if you're going down a ramp. If you run down a ramp, the animation's... Oh, oh it's not keen. He just kind of shuffles down a ramp. Iron Man, Iron Man, does whatever an iron can. Look out, he is the Iron Man. Oi, come, come over here, you. All right, let's do the thing. This is so much less efficient than just punching it. I'm using the advanced military technique of moving slightly sideways while shooting. I call it strafing, and it appears to be working immensely well against all this high-tech Stark equipment. If what I've come to do is take out all the Stark tech, we should not be worried. There is no need to worry about any of the Stark tech. The Stark tech is worthless. All we need to do is brief anyone who goes up against it, just move sideways while taking it on, and there's nothing it can do. Hello? Hello? Hello, I see you're an enemy. You interested in... 
for fighting? Any interest in fighting? No? Hello? Anyone? Alright, let's, let's do this Unibeam style. There we go. Right, one last shipment. Yep, let's do this in style. Let's do this with the big chest laser. I've detected advanced start weapons being loaded onto trucks, sir. Ho ho, busted. Okay, convoy trucks it is. Let's just go find some of them. Oh, up, Sky. Hello. Hi, guys. No, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Stop. Stop in the name of Iron Man. I'm Iron Man. There we go. Oi. No. Who's shooting me? Shove off. You're not invited. Can I can I can I do the the grabby thing? No. All right. Can I can I kill both of you? Because aren't there two? There's another one around the back, isn't there? Yes, there is. Oh 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 wow. He's got his eye on me. Right. Let's see if we can get both of them. How's my heart doing, Jarvis? Functioning normally, sir. Oi, come back here, you. No 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 no. You're not going anywhere. Hello. Oh oh wow. Okay. I wanna I wanna get on top of him. Actually, can I get on top of him? Yes. Okay. I know he's not interested in going anywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. The convoy vehicle is not very good at convoying. They just get stuck quite often. Hello, convoy inspector. Up, up, and away! I said up, up, and away. Yeah, we go. Oh dear, what are you going to do now? Oh no, am I inside your effective range? Thing I need to know the answer to. Can I land on a helicopter? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, directly above the helicopter. Oi! None of that, who are you? Alright, fine, we'll deal with you first, apparently. Stop messing up my experiment. Now, land on the helicopter. Land on the helicopter, Tony. Come on, Tony, you can do this. Okay, this is a this is a good idea. This is totally a good idea. Down a bit more, down a bit more. Oh no, he, he's dropping altitude. He's dropping altitude. He's trying to get away from me. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, oh, it doesn't let you land. It doesn't let you land. But this is a really good spot to take out a helicopter from anyway. Bye, bye helicopter. That was supposed to be a really cool thunk, put my fist down landing, instead I just slid down the flipping thing. Meanwhile, the convoy trucks just decided to, oh, blimey, blah. See this? This is why you only fly around like this. It's slower, but it actually works. The convoy's just cowering in here. I kind of feel sorry for it. You sure you don't want to escape? All right. Fine. Unit has heavy armor and multiple weapon pods. Suggest targeting exposed weaponry. Finally, a challenge. I'm making the assumption this isn't Tony Stark. This is this is Tony Stark's slightly special cousin Steve. And he's got himself hold of a second man Iron Man suit armory. He was just visiting Tony on his birthday. And he broke into the armory and he stole a suit. And this is why he sounds a bit weird. And he all his one-liners are really, really flipping naff. This is, this is not Iron Man. This is Galvanized Iron Steve. That's who we're dealing with right now. Anyway, let, let's go find this guy. Because apparently there's a super awesome mega tank thing. Alright, let, let's just try Operation Strafe. Operation Strafe is being depressingly effective. Um, I think I've pretty much won actually. Hello, you got anything else? Oh, I can take out its engines. Okay, so it's now completely immobilized. It still appears to have some weaponry. You know what? I hate the sky too. I'm supposed to be taking this bit out, but I can't punch it. Come on. Alright, fine. Let's do the, the Mambu Blazer. Dreadnought Power Core. Can I land on this? Oh, I want to flipping... I want to punch it. Why can't I punch it? Oh, so I love how my radar is now just basically just... It's just a stream of missiles. 
it, he's desperately trying to shoot me, but I've, I've defeated his surface-to-air missiles by virtue of not being in the air. This is his plan. His plan is just to keep shooting miss. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's do another man boo blazer. The sky is safe once again from the threat of infinite missiles. U.S. military aircraft incoming, sir. Tony, is that you? What are you doing on this frequency? Also, what are you doing on the ground? Because in the cutscene a second ago, we were in the air. Sir, suggest engaging incoming aircraft. Why are you nuts? I can't just shoot at American pilots. They're not even remotely foreign. Destroy or disable them? I can just destroy them? Hell yes! Come on, America! Let's do this! Oh yeah! Come on then! Bring it, America! Oh no! You exploded! Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, remember that bit of the film where Tony Stark had to disable the plane and, you know, he accidentally destroyed it by, completely by accident? And then, you know, he had to rescue the pilot to make sure the pilot was okay. Well, fuck that bit of the film. Where are the pilots? They're gone, sir. They are deceased, sir. What in the hell are you doing? Just out for a stroll, Rudy. I'm only gonna say this once, Tony. Stroll out of my airspace now. I how Tony's just cracking jokes. I just murdered. I just murdered several members of the American army. It's just like, Rhodes is just like, yeah, just get out. Don't cause any more trouble. Hi, honey, I'm home. You shouldn't be in here. And you shouldn't be off risking your life. And, and you shouldn't you have had boob out. enlargement surgery. The problem, Tony, is you're fighting a war and you're not a soldier. There's also the problem with the fact you killed several Americans, Tony. All right, now apparently we're taking out factories used to create weapons that were ripped off from Stark weapons. So, in the film, obviously, Tony Stark's big thing is he has to destroy his own weapons. In the game, that clearly didn't have enough material for a game, so this other company that's also making weapons, so Tony's destroying them too. So, yeah, pretty much now Tony's not just taking responsibility for the mistakes of his past. In this particular game, Tony's decided, screw it, I'm actually going to murder anyone who ever makes a weapon. Yeah, being up in the air is a terrible idea, because being up in the air, all the anti-air missiles just immediately start shooting the hell out of you. You are just shot from every angle simultaneously. It's a much better idea to not be in the air. You don't even really need to bother taking out the, uh, taking out anything. You can just, uh, literally head in there, sweep him, take him out, and then be on your way before anyone even really notices. So literally just head in. Area likely defended, sir. Shouldn't be a problem for my repulsors. Yep, that's fine. And just take it out. Activate shields. And be out of there. Done. Incoming, sir. Well, that's the bad guy then. Oh, the enemy's whip the bad guy's whiplash. You've made enemies recently stuck. You don't know what you're getting into. I think I'm fine. I'm just shooting you from a distance. You don't seem to be able to get down this alleyway. That's the final boss of the area. I'm just going to stand here and just shoot at him a bit. Yeah, I don't think you can get down this alleyway. Oh no, he's found a way. He's found. Oh, then he just ran straight past me. You're already dead. Um, FYI. You ever think about joining the military? I don't know, I feel like those times I killed the American soldiers might count against me. Okay, take out the major headquarters. Consider it done. I mean, I, the sad thing is actually, I do feel like there is half a good game waiting in here. Just hidden behind a quite bad control system. Holding down LB to fly. That is a flipping nightmare. Your finger slips off that so easily all the time. She's kind of drop out of flight without meaning to. And the doesn't you don't feel right when you're flying you feel like you're twitching all over the place the fact that you you should be heavier and I've tried turning the sensitivity down didn't help much it really is a game let down by control issues missile destroyed, missile destroyed. I'm a big damn hero Whitney what are you doing stop those missiles Whitney Whitney's not a good name for a bad guy the only Whitney I'll ever be scared of is the third gym leader in Pokemon silver and gold Ugh. All right, I'm hiding here. I'm hiding in this nice house. I don't care about the missile launch. Are those Stark weapons? Yes. 
Uh, is there a massive weapon of mass destruction heading into the civilian population? Yes. Stony, is that one of your weapons? Maybe. All right, I'm hiding here. I'm hiding here because this, this, yeah, we're done. We're, 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 we're done with this, this game. It's, it's not a disaster. And the sad thing is there's actually quite a good game hiding in here somewhere. Not a spectacular one or anything, but an all right one. There is an okay game hiding in here. If it has sadly not obviously been rushed out for coinciding with the film's release as any game of this nature would be. And as I dodge missile fire here in this nice house, there is one other thing actually. This is a recommendation. I know this is this is uh, this is quite unusual. I know you hear from me an awful lot, but many true nerds not just me. Obviously, you know there's also Claire and there was Sam who did Borderlands movie. There are a couple of other people who have made a fairly big contributions to many true nerds back end. You don't really hear from them. Uh, directly on the front end. And one of them is Nick Bryan, who has just put out his first book. Nick's done an awful lot for this channel. I've read the book. It's fantastic. He's British like me. He has a dark sense of humour like mine. Uh, it is fantastic. It is called The Girl That Tweeted Wolf. There is a link in the description Don't below. Uh, if you were to want to um, check that out, and if you are interested to pick up a copy, many true nerd. Uh, truly does appreciate that. Full disclosure, I don't make anything off this. I make no money off that whatsoever. I've not been paid to say that. He's just a good friend. It's a really good book, and it's made me laugh. So I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to recommend that. But yes, in the meantime, let's crack on with this. Tony, we need to get out of here. Come on. Ah, okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh god, this flight system. Oh, this game, this game has control problems. Bad missile turret, shut up. So that is Iron Man, the movie tie-in. It is distinctly average. It's not bad, it's got problems, it's got bad bits, it's got good bits, it's just... It's right in the same space as Remember Me. It's got some bits that are alright, a lot of bits that are really frustrating. You feel like there's something good about that. It's, it's not quite home front bad. I don't think it's quite Homefront bad, actually. Homefront actively offended me more than this. Anyway, yes, that'll do for now. And in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many Trudeau. This has been Why Not Wednesday with Iron Man. Thank you very much, and goodbye.